right, so today in science, we are starting to, are going to learn about different animals and how they are different. So on this page, it says, we'll find the answer to the question in the lesson. This animal is not an insect. What is it? What is this animal right here? Okay. Spider. Good. So on the line, you're going to write the word spider. It is called a tarantula, you're right. <laughs> scroll down and then you won't be able to see this word very well. All right, at the bottom it says that these different words are going to be in this book that we're going to learn about. So these words, there's some of them are kind of big. Let me zoom this page in so that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. All right, so we're going to learn about different groups of animals. We're going to learn about mammals. We're going to learn about birds. All right, on the next page, it says all kinds of animals. We're on page 108 now, so make sure you are following along with us. And it shows a picture of a sloth, and it says animals have different shapes and sizes. They have body parts that help them move in different ways. Some animals walk and run, others fly or swim. Animals have different body coverings. Some have fur or hair, and others have scales or feathers. There's a picture of a cute little sloth hanging off of a tree. Right, go into the, let's look at the next page, page 109, so right next to it. And it says ways to group animals. Let me zoom out a little bit. So we have animals with feathers and fur, so you can group them based on their like, skin coverings or what kind of um, body coverings they have. So feathers like this macaw and um, this spider monkey has fur. We have animals that swim and climb, like this river dolphin swims and this red-eyed tree frog climbs. And we have animals by, grouped by their size. We have a capybara, which is like a big, almost looks like a big giant guinea pig. And then we have a leaf cutter ant. So down here at the bottom, this is circle the words that help group animals by the way they move. What words would we circle? That shows how we could group animals by how they move. Claire. Good. Claire, do you want to come up to the board and grab the pen and circle? Swim and climb for us. Yes, please. Good. So you're going to circle. Move it down a little bit. It's okay. I know. It's okay. Uh-oh. 
There we go. Okay, so let's make it in a circle spin and climb. There you go. I know that thing is really goofy. Good. So you and your book should have circled, swim, and climb. Good. Thanks, Claire. Climb, because the B in climb is silent. All right, go on to the next page. We're going to look at different groups. On page 110, it says mammals. It says a mammal has fur or hair. Most mammals have live young. So it means live young as in they don't lay eggs. A young mammal drinks milk from its mother's body. People are mammals. So all of us are mammals, just like this giant anteater and these golden lion tamarind, like a monkey, and this jaguar. What kind of skin, what kind of body covering do you see here? Looks like this is the jaguar's body covering. What is that? Tommy? Oh, is it feathers? What is it? Fur, right. So at the bottom down there, you're going to write the word fur. All right, on the next page, we're talking about birds. It says a bird has feathers. Birds also have a beak and wings. Most birds use wings to fly. Birds lay eggs. They find food to feed their young. So we have a quetzal, a toucan, and a parrot. What kind of body coverings do birds have? All right, let's go on to the next page. Now we're going to talk about reptiles. It says a reptile has dry skin. It is covered in scales. Most reptiles lay eggs. Most reptiles have four legs, but snakes are reptiles with no legs. Turtles are reptiles. They may have legs or flippers. A turtle also has a shell on its back. So we have green iguanas and a caiman. And then what kind of body covering do we see in this picture? What kind of body covering do we see there, Jordan? Scales. Very good. Okay, tell me, put your hand on, you can tell me later, okay? Scales. Scales. So snakes and turtles are, are reptiles. Yes, they do. Snakes have scales? Of course they do. But it's, scales can still be soft. All right, let's go on to the next page. Next, we're going to talk about amphibians. Most amphibians, I hope you're listening, have smooth, wet skin. Toads are amphibians with rough, bumpy skin. Amphibians lay their eggs in water. Young amphibians live in the water, and most grown amphibians live on land. So like frogs, how they... 
Frogs and toads, how they lay their eggs in the water, and then when frogs and toads get older, a lot of times they like to live on the land. So we have a poison dart frog, and we have a cane toad. What kind of body covering do frogs here? What's this body covering that you see? Kaden? Yeah, bumpy skin. But the, bumpy is not a body covering. That's describing it, but they have skin. It's just bumpy. Like scales and feathers and fur are, and skin are a type of body covering. And then bumpy describes the skin. Okay. Bumpy skin. Nope. Fish are in their own separate category. All right, I'm going to go on to the next stage. See, now we're talking about fish. It says fish have body parts that help them live in water. Most fish have scales. The scales help keep their bodies safe. Fish have fins to swim, and they have gills to take in oxygen. So we have a red piranha and a silver dollar fish. So what kind of body covering did we do fish have, do we say? Miles? Scales, yes, good. So we're gonna write scales again on that line. S-C-A-L-E-S, scales. Scales. All right, on the next page, talking about insects. An insect has three body parts and six legs. A hard shell keeps its body safe. Some animals look like insects, but they are not. A spider has eight legs, but it is not an insect. So spiders are not insects. They're in a different group. So it says, label the body covering you see here. What kind of body covering did it say insects have? Talons. No, it looks smooth, but what did it say in the reading? What kind of body covering? Mason? Hard shell. Hard shell. Good. They have a hard shell. All right. The entire species. See it? The feet is um, hard shell. Yeah. Okay. 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 And its center part of its body has a hard shell that protects its body, its body parts. Okay. So you're going to write that. The next page is the sum it up page. It says, draw an X on the animal that is not a mammal. Which of these is not a mammal? Helen's. groups have scales. Draw an animal from each group. Which two animal groups have scales? Mason. 
fish. 